Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today is sort of just like, a, it's almost like a little recap video of last uh, last month's event. I've got a few sinister uh, crystals in here, you know, trying to get those Sp um, Spider-Man um, sort of Cavalier crystals. Then we've got the um, Gwenpool's Bauble event. So you can see I originally, to start the video off, I've picked up one of the Awakening Gem, which was I think two... Um, 200 and something thousand uh so in the end i had about 500k so i bought two of them and then i've um obviously awakened my hercules and i've kept the other one just in case you know just in case i get somebody who's uh definitely needs one so i could get a nick fury or even a mega red or someone like that who needs to be awakened and maybe i don't have their um class gem but i've got that generic one so that's sort of why i've decided to pick up those two one for hercules and I thought it was sort of the best um, bundle left after I'd bought one Awakening that I could afford with the other. So that's sort of where I've gone. Uh, let me know what you guys picked up from the um, the Ball Ball event. Um, did you find it any good? Did you think it was quite fun? Did you like the deals that come out? For me personally, I liked the fact that they had a generic Awakening gem in there because it let me awaken my um, Herc. But um, I thought some of the other deals were some somewhat lacking, uh, potentially for a Thronebreaker. However... I, I would say I'm more Paragon level just without the rank fours, if that makes sense. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm completing all of the, the Paragon type um, stuff anyway, just trying to get take my time to go into to the EOP and things. So now we're at the Sinister Ones. Um, uh, one real good pull out of this, I would say. Uh, and then other than that, um, a, f a few four stars, five stars. But um, yeah, there was definitely... I did pull a six star out of here. So um, let me know before you see him in the comments down below who you think that will be. It's um, it's maybe a good one, but um, I'll just let you guys watch it. So um, I also wanted to talk about what is coming up on the channel. Um, yesterday, if you'd seen that video, a little update. Um, I need to put out the poll this evening, and um, and get your guys' view on what you want to see next. As I said, quite busy with work, so I. If I'm trying to get these videos out sort of daily as I have been for, for the last sort of 20 days, but it's, it's becoming a bit more of a struggle. Um, as you can see, I sort of missed two days uh, the other day, which was a bit of a shame, but you know, we're back on the grind now trying to pick up this stuff. So more Sinisters, you know, we've got eight, nine. Um, probably, obviously, we'll end up, I think we end up with about 12, yeah. So we've got 12 of these to open now. Um, I quite enjoyed this event because uh, the, the sort of side quest from last month. Obviously, the Sinister Vaults was really good. Um, I thought it was a really, really interesting one. It had re some really good rewards inside it. Um, a lot of a lot of these shards, which was nice for the Cavalier Crystals, um, which obviously is, is really handy. It's quite fun opening these. You don't necessarily expect anything, but if you do get something, then you're quite glad which is sort of what happened with the Rhino that you just saw, the six-star Rhino that I've pulled. Um, it's nice to have a new six-star um, just on the books anyway. You know, you want to try and collect as many as you can. But, um, but yeah, like, what did you guys think? Did you like the fact that there was loads of these shards? Did you, um, did you get many six-stars? Do let me know in the comments down below again. So I'm trying to go through EOP now, sort of beginning that with um, a few people as a... Uh, as a few of my champs that I've mentioned, trying to look for the sort of best, um, the best characters or champions to take into that. Obviously, Herc will be one. He'll have to be paired with uh, Cap and Infinity War. So I'm just looking for who, um, who to take in for that left lane. With beginning with Hercules, um, as the third champ. Currently, I'm thinking Kitty Pride. But um, yeah, just uh, keeping you guys updated on that. I am trying to get that out pretty much as quickly as possible. I think with the um. And going forward, we are going to be trying to upload those. We're going to try and get some more um, ranking videos because I still, you know, the views on those ones are quite good. People enjoy that one, which is always really good. Maybe some side quest walkthroughs, although this side quest isn't too tricky. And then I think maybe I'll put out like sort of 8.2.1 and 8.2.2, .2, sort of the, ease, the other paths in there if you're going for full completion. Because sort of just as I said, as, as right from the beginning of this channel, if any of you guys are from um, the sort of first three or four videos, you will know that this is just a road to glory type um, thing really was what I always watched when um, I used to watch FIFA and things like that. And, and it's sort of where I wanted to go with this account. So whatever happens on the account is sort of what I'll upload. If some days there aren't anything, then that's when the video will be missed. If some days I'm sort of crammed at work or if um, I come home and I've got other things on, then, 
you know, that's sort of, this is all really for fun. So I don't want to stress about having um, not enough videos uploaded or uh, things like that. If you guys are in, enjoying it, then that's all sort of that really matters to me. And I, I hope you guys are. So just look out for that poll that's going to be coming on the community um, tab soon. That will obviously be for um, just a little vote on what you guys fancy seeing. Uh, coming up if there's any more like how to play videos that you want to see uh, i'm thinking of maybe um getting one of those out for um light intercepting uh, i sort of got better at light intercepting i know a lot of people ask that so that might be a video that comes out um very very soon maybe even um this week then i'll also be trying to get out some of the as i said some of the walkthrough videos some more how to uses on champs that maybe um maybe there aren't yet so um an overseer one as he's becoming a seven star, a shuri one because she's becoming a seven star very, very soon. Um, maybe some champs that are coming out today, uh, as today is obviously Monday, you will see it. Um, probably by the time you see this video, seven stars will be out. Um, so yeah, maybe a few walkthroughs of those. Talking about seven stars, I also um, probably will have, it's hard to say, I'd, I think by maybe Tuesday or Wednesday when the new side, um, the new a week of the side quest comes out, I might be able to get a seven star crystal. I'm at about 8,500 shards, so looking for about 1,500 more. Need a few six stars uh, to boost up my my shards, but once I've got them, and then, um, then maybe I'll open a seven star. That'll be a video in itself, sort of um, upgrading my first ever seven star. So um, there's sort of a sneak peek for what the title will be. But yeah, once we um, once we get one of those... Uh, that will definitely be up on the channel. Uh, what seven stars are you guys looking forward to getting the most? Um, who is your sort of um, your desired seven star champ? Who do you want the absolute most? I think the good thing about them is they're all really useful. You, there's not really one that you could pull and think, ah, oh, you know, I don't really know what to do with him. Uh, they all can be used in a different way. So I think that's something that's really good about this um, this sort of champion or, or I said I should say level star level release is that the fact that you know there are quite a few of them who are good so um that sort of clears up all I want to say about the seven stars and then finally to clear this uh to sort of wrap this video up these are all the cavalier crystals that you get um and the collectible sort of um gifting type crystal that came in um was it the ball ball event so uh sort of seeing what I got in these there is also quite a nice little pull in a minute from one of the um cavalier nexuses that um that i get that sort of um that was very very lucky it was a, a new six star just released from the um the thingy i wasn't actually recording it so this is obviously i've started recording once she's popped up but it was in fact shuri so i've ranked her up looking to do sort of a how to play type video on her um, as she is a new seven star as i just mentioned so um so yeah, we're sort of building up slowly to um to the release of seven stars. What exciting things we've got as a seven star, and um, and yeah, that that's sort of the, all this video was. It was just a little bit of an update with um lots of crystals in the back. You know, we've got some six stars in here. We've had some cavalier crystals, some gifting type crystals, some nexuses, um, and finally we wrap off with three six star crystals. So and the first one, bishop, a really really nice pull. I think bishop is somebody who, um is actually really useful as a battlegrounds attacker and defender great dual threat but he's also really nice at taking out some of the um some of the more recent bosses in um act 8.2 as I, I believe for in act 8.2.1 you need a boss who um on the electra who constantly puts incinerates on which is definitely something that bishop does um so yeah he's someone who is really interesting to use and is probably definitely someone i'm going to level up then we've got gamora um Nice champ, but somebody who's a little probably not going to be used as much. Um, definitely not on this account at the minute. I've already got some at the top tier cosmics. As I said, guys, you know we're always looking for those skill champs. So let's see what this third one is. And then I believe that'll be the end of the video. So here, Cos uh, just Ghost Rider, not even Cosmic. Um, so really hope that's that does it for this opening and and sort of update hope you guys enjoyed this video do look at the community tab um soon for a little vote on what's coming next uh i really appreciate that and i'll see you guys in sort of the next video so have a good day goodbye